Hello everyone. So in this video today, we would start with Python pandas tutorials. So what is pandas? So pandas is a Python library, which is extensively used for uh, analyzing data. So if you are someone who needs to analyze some form of data, so this could be anyone. So for example, you could be a master student who needs to analyze data, or you could be a PhD student who need to analyze their experimental data, or you could be working at a startup or a company or in whichever diverse field. If you have some data which you want to analyze, you want to gain some insights, you want to do some computations there. And in the end, you want to plot some data or something like that. So for all of these requirements, Pandas is one of the most useful library that you can learn. So in this video, what we are going to do. So we will first, uh, uh, so in today's video, we'll just set up things. So we will just have a look at how can we get started using Pandas and with which data set are we going to work with. So my recommendation to learn Pandas is that you work with a data set. So if you already have a data set with you, then you can just start working with that data set or you can just get some data from internet and you can start working with it. So in this series of tutorials, the data set that we'll be working with will be Stack Overflow Developer Survey Data. So this is a real world data. So if you do not know Stack Overflow, but uh, most of you might know uh, may know Stack Overflow because if you do programming, then whenever you do a Google search of let's say, how do you print uh, something in Python or any programming query that you do in Google, then most of the times the answer that you'd get, you'd get it in Stack Over Overflow. So it's like a community of developers, all the programming, uh, programming people are there. So uh, and they conduct a survey. And uh, so we are going to analyze that survey data. And through that, we'll be learning Python pandas. So first, let's just get started with how do we install pandas and how do we run it? So we will use Jupyter Notebook uh, for, for writing all our codes and everything. So my recommendation for getting started with uh, pandas, or just Python data science would be to just download Anaconda. So if you just go to your Google and just search Anaconda, then you'd get this thing here. So you can just download it. So I have a Mac system here, so I can download it for Mac or if you have Windows, then we can just go to Windows and download it for that. So you can just set it up. I have also explained this in much more detail in another video. So I'll just put a link to that video. Uh, in the description so you can go through that for a detailed installation. So once you install Anaconda, then what you can do is uh, in whichever folder you want to start with. So for example, uh, data science, so let's say teaching data science pandas tutorial. So for example, if this is the folder I want to start working with. So in this folder, I want to put all my code and everything. So you can just make your folder. Now, in the terminal, you can just go to this particular folder here. So in Mac, you can just go through it like new terminal tab at folder. So it just opens a terminal with this pandas tutorial. So I'm already in this directory here. So if you are not here, then you can just open your tutor, uh, open your terminal and then you can change directory and everything. And you can go to that particular directory wherever you want to have all of your codes and everything. And now once you have in installed uh, Anaconda, then you can just write here Jupyter Notebook. So what this will do is that it will open a browser. And here you will have like whatever you see here in this folder here, you will have it here. And here we will just do a new Python three. So this is our Jupyter Notebook. And we can write whatever code we want to write here. So first we would like to import pandas. So normally what we do it import pandas as PD. So this pandas library will be imported as PD and wherever we want to use pandas, then we can just write PD dot uh, whatever we want to do. So this is the first thing which uh, you can do. So just make sure that pandas is imported and uh, this thing here is uh, running. Okay, so you can just download the Anaconda. So I'll just give a link where in a video where I've described it in more uh, detail there. So the next thing to do is to download the data set that we are going to work with. 
So as I said, we'll work with Stack Overflow Survey, Developer Survey data. So let's just download that. So Stack Overflow Developer Sur Survey. So I'll also give a link to this in the description. So you can just go or Google the Stack Overflow Developer Survey. So this, if you go into the insights here, so we will be working with 2021 data. So you can just go here and click on this, download full data set here, CSV. So I have already done this and uh, you'll get a zip file and when you unzip it, so you'll get a folder. I have renamed it to data here. So these are the different uh, files which you, you will get here. So you can always just go through these files once. So just read me. So you can just read uh, this here. So it says that it consists of survey results public dot CSV. So you have this CSV file here. So it's like one responded per row and one column per answer. So this data is like they did a survey with all with many different developers and they ask many different questions and this particular file here. So every row is the answer given by every developer who took the survey and every column is the like answer to one particular question and which column represents what question that is represented in this year survey results schema dot CSV. So you can just go through uh, this readme file and also this PDF. So what the survey was, what were the questions uh, and all of these things. So you can just go through all of these things. So just to know your data set better. So these are different kinds of questions which were asked and uh, yeah, so this is the data which we will work with. So these are the two things which you need to do first is download Anaconda, get yourself pandas running. So just uh, open Jupyter Notebook and there we will just start with uh, this data here. So first thing which we want to do in this video today, we are just getting an introduction to what pandas is and how do we just get started with it. So first, what we want to do is we just want to read these data here. So we just want to read this CSV file. So what we do is import pandas as PD. Then what we do is so the table which we have. So CSV, mostly the data is it uh, in a table format. So if we want to read that, so let's say we just make it in a data frame. So as we go through more tutorials in later videos, we will explain what a data frame is. But right now, so what we can do is we can just read this CSV file. So PD dot read underscore CSV. So these are different methods which you can use with uh, pandas. So you can also just write like PD dot. And if you press the tab button, then you'll get all the different methods that you can use with this pandas. Okay, so and also if you want the documentation, then PD question mark shift enter. So you'll get like the documentation of uh, all the things which you can use with pandas. Okay, so if we just want to read the CSV file that we have, so what we do is PD dot read underscore CSV. So let me just zoom this a bit so that you can see it properly. So PD dot read underscore CSV. <coughs> And here you will just give the you'll just give the file path. So we'll just have data slash and then whichever. So to do this, so when I'm here, so either you can type everything or you can just click on tab. And if you click on tab, then uh, you get these things here. So what we want to do first is we want to just read this data here. So survey results public dot CSV. So what this does is we get a data frame. So by data frame, what do we mean is so it's just a table. So there are different rows here. So all of these are different rows. So there are 83,439 rows and there are 48 columns here. So 48 uh, different columns here. Okay, and every column is like answer to a certain question. And if we want to understand like what this column here is like, what is the question that was asked in the survey, then we need to read the other CSV file. So let's say we also read the other CSV file. So schema underscore data frame is equal to again PD dot read underscore CSV and let's read the other file. 
so we have the survey results schema dot csv okay so if we just open this one here schema underscore data frame then 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 this just tell tells you like the question name and which what was the question which was asked so employment which one of the following best describes so here you can't read it completely here so later we will also see uh, like how do we read complete line which is written here and so on okay so these are the different questions which are asked so this is the schema data frame and this is the actual uh, data which we have here so this is how we read it so we have a data frame and in the upcoming videos we will go into more detail like what uh, a data frame is what a panda series is and so on so for just to getting an introduction here so what we can do here is so let's say so here we can already see how many columns are there how many rows are there so this we can also do if we just do df dot shape so this is an attribute associated with it so there are like these many rows and these many columns in this uh, particular data frame here okay so yeah so for today's video i would just like to keep it until here and uh, in next videos we will explore this data set more and what a data frame is what a panda series objectives and so on so the two resources would i i would like to mention right now where you can learn uh, pandas uh, so one book which i follow is this o'reilly python data science handbook okay so you can just google o'reilly python data science handbook okay so in the pdf so if you just google this then you would get this python data science handbook and it's also freely available on github so if on this github here it's completely freely available here all the codes so you can also go through this book and we will also be following uh, this book here with all the different codes and everything Okay, so this is one book which I would recommend, Python Data Science Handbook. And the other is there's a YouTube channel by Corey Saffer. And he has also made Python uh, Pandas tutorials uh, there. So I would also recommend uh, you can also follow those videos as well. And the idea of using this Stack Overflow developer survey data. So I got from his videos. So you can also follow Corey Saffer's Python Pandas tutorials and you can also follow uh, this book here python data science handbook so for today i would just like to keep this video here so just download anaconda start your jupyter notebook just import pandas and download the stack overflow developer survey data and just read this file here using pd dot read underscore csv and just start to explore this data set on your own and from the next video, we will then slowly build up on pandas and then we will keep exploring more of uh, this uh, particular data set. Okay. So thank you very much and then see you in the next video.